Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem which is related to 10th grade syllabus but can be asked in competitive exams. Now, if you are solving this problem in competitive exams, your approach should be in such a way that you look at the options now and see which option is not repeating. I see 46, 50, 54, 40 for y we have to find out x y z we know the second one y is unique so go ahead and directly find out the value of y then you don't need to find out the x and z whereas you go for x there are two options for x 40 40 so you get x either 40 suppose then you have to do one more you have to do one more check on y and z but if you go for y directly since y is unique you can easily find out the solution now let's come back to the problem and see what is the approach to solve this problem so we have been given that there is a circle and then we have a tangent mn and we have two cards pr and rq and we have pq we have been asked to find out what are the values of x, y, z. We decided earlier only that we are going to work on y because y is unique. So if I get y, that should be easily the last thing I have to do. I don't need to worry more about it. So to understand what is y value, we will use alternate segment theorem. What is alternate segment theorem? It says that the angle between the tangent and the card is equal to angle made by the card in the alternate segment. Now if you take this circle, it is divided into two segments by the card. This is one segment which is this area. The remaining area is called alternate segment. Now the angle between the card angle between the card and tangent is equal to the angle made by the card in the alternate segment that means y equal to 46 if you know y equal to 46 straight forward our option is one we don't need to worry about it so sometimes it's not only whether we know how to solve the problem is important it is also important to pick the right one to find out you have to find out three values like x y z you have to take that value which will give you unique so that you can close the problem quickly within 30 seconds and you can move to the next one which may take more time these are the problems which can be solved very easily so now after moving to y equal to 46 you can see that by using the same alternate segment theorem the angle made by between card rq and the tangent is 40 then the angle made by qr on the alternate segment is x is 40 you know x equal to 40 y equal to 46 then automatically angle sum property z will be equal to 94 so you can see that we got y 46 we don't need to worry about x and z automatically there is only one option for that so we can easily go ahead and write it down so what is the concept we have used to solve this problem that is alternate segment theorem alternate segment theorem which states that the angle q we are talking about y so angle between the tangent and the card that is the angle prm is equal to angle made by the card in the alternate segment which is nothing but angle pqr similarly we can write down for x also then angle sum property total angle is 180 on a straight line you can find out the value so that's one interesting problem which i thought of sharing with you